is like a brother to me, and he's caught in the middle of the movie. Millions of women and men cannot wait to see Fifty Shades of Grey. Take a look. Thanks again for doing this, Mr. Grey. I'm happy to help. Uh, how about we try a few with a smile? Or, or not. You do realize that he hasn't stopped looking at you. <laughs> he asked me to go for coffee afterwards. What? <laughs> Please welcome my little brother, Victor Russell! Hi, Victor! It's so good to see you. How do you guys know each other? Well, we didn't meet at Funky Reggae, that's for one thing, um, <laughs> and she wasn't on top of a speaker. We met, through, <laughs> we met through a mutual friend. I don't know if you remember this, we gotta clear this up. We met through a mutual friend, and you invited us to this, like, party bar thing, and we get there, and, you know, it's really crowded, really loud, and my friend is like, dude, there's Rosie, let's go, let's go introduce, and I, when I went up to you, you were wearing a pumpkin outfit and it wasn't even Halloween. That's the kicker. So what was that? I don't understand what that was till this day. It wasn't Halloween. You must have been high. No, it was Halloween. It was not. It was so Halloween. It was, it was Halloween. No. Like I'm gonna walk into a club just like a big fat pumpkin. I don't know. That's what I said. And then you were trying to explain it to me, and it was so loud. I was like, okay, Rosie Perez. All right, nice meeting you. And now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, tell everybody. That's so embarrassing. Okay, so, so tell. tell everybody about the role you play in Fifty Shades of Grey, and I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Um, I play Jose Rodriguez. To some people, he's like the love rival, the third wheel. I've, I've heard everything. But in my opinion, I think Jose is, you know, he's her best friend who's secretly in love with Anastasia, for those who read the book. And he expresses her, his love to her, and she, uh, she kind of turns him down. And, wow. And yeah, and, and what's great about the role, why, why I was really interested about doing the role, especially not just the phenomenon, but also I felt like Jose Rodriguez also played against the stereotype, which is, you know, he got his ego bruised a little bit after the girl that he loves was like, no, I don't want to be with you. I want to be with this guy named Christian Grey. Right. And so what I loved about the role is that it played against the stereotype that, you know, he ended up being friends with her after. He didn't, like, have that whole ego bruised machismo thing, like, oh, I'm not going to be friends with her anymore because she said no. Right. Yeah. Had you read the book before you got the role? I did not. I, um, I, read the, I read the book as soon as I got the role. I was super excited. My family was really excited. And, uh, and so when I got the role, I called my auntie because I knew she read the book. And I said, auntie, am I going to get naked in this film? Um, <laughs> because I need to know this. Um, and she said, uh, no. So I was like, thank God, because that means abuela can go see it. Right. And otherwise, it's, it's no bueno with a Latino, fa Latino family. So I, uh, I told my, my aunt and, my, and my, my grandma and everybody that I'm in it, and, uh, and they were really excited for me. Yeah, because if you had had to be naked... It would have been really awkward, Rosie, I really, think so. yeah. yeah. I yeah. had, like, an S&M outfit in one movie, and, oh, my God, so much stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No well, I, I, no I was no naked. Meal. I was naked in a movie, several movies, and it is very, very awkward. But you when should be naked. Look at you. Me, not so much. <laughs> Now you're in a new show, yes. right? Yes. And it's called Stalkers. Yes, it's called Stalker on and, CBS. And, and there's a lot of controversy about it. Yeah, you know, Stalkers, you know, I know, I know a lot of criticism is that Stalker is a very dark show. Um, but, you know, what we want people to take from it when they watch the show is not to be victims, you know, and, and, and God, God forbid they're a victim of stalking. Like, the show, what it shows is, like, you have rights, you know? There's, there's ways to sort of protect yourself. You know, it all started from, I don't know if you guys remember Rebecca Schaefer? Yes. The actress who was, you know, she was killed by a stalker and the LAPD created a unit called the TMU which is the threat management unit to you know stop things like stalking so you know unfortunately that you know she had to sort of you know be killed but right. at least that you know they they created that unit for that right when is that show on that shows on Wednesdays at 10 p.m. on CBS Excellent. thank you thank you thank you uh, thanks to Victor Rasu 50 Shades of Grey opens nationwide on Friday and we will be right back <laughs>